What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dot Ford here, coming at you with that weekly video. Um, give you guys an update. I uh, got picked up two new uh, partial sponsorships. Um, I'll go in further detail about those sponsorships as the weeks progress. Um, so you'll see some you'll see some new parts in the car. Um, but today I want to start the YouTube video off by uh, taking off my weird window holders. Um, I'm putting them up for sale. Uh, I've gotten a few inquiries this past week. Um, I just want to try something different. I love them. They give me an aggressive look. Um, they serve their purpose, but uh, you know you always got to keep people on their toes. So I want to try something different. But um, but I wanted to start the YouTube video off by showing you how easy it is to take these things off. Um, they're very low maintenance. They're easy to install, and they're just as easy to take off. So peep the video. your rear window lovers you have a plate that is um, 3M uh, double sided tape glued to uh, to your rear windshield and then you have um, these little brackets that hold the lovers in place all you need is just a flathead screwdriver to go ahead and take them off um, they're fairly easy to do so Once you've got the bolt covers, um, these little caps here, nice and loose, you should be able to go ahead and then just unscrew them off by hand and just take them off. Um, they also do come with washers. Um, so once you get those all off, you can go ahead and take off the lovers. All right, so when taking off the lovers, I recommend a two person job, but if you are like me and you're just doing this one person, I just say loosen one side Make sure it doesn't, uh, those screws are out of the little holes here on the each end. And go to the other side and do the same. Be careful when you lift up, make sure you don't hit the paint. And then once you have the lovers off, you can see those brackets there. They come silver. I actually painted mine black since I have my window tinted so when I'm not riding with my lovers you can actually you can't even tell that they're there so there's my rear window lover taken off if I wanted to place it back on I just pretty much repeat the same steps but it now you might be asking yourself hey Dida why are you um, why are you taking your lovers off um, like I said before I just want to try something different I'm taking them off for the weekend to see if I really want to take them off um, they don't disrupt my view. I can see with them on, um, but they're just becoming popular with, in, the, in the car in the car game. Um, and you really want to set yourself apart. Um, I'm not gonna say I was one of the first ones to do it. Uh, I know I wasn't because I've wanted lovers on my car for for years now um, with my old car. So I did it with this one. Um, like I said, it gave me an aggressive look. Um, it gave me the look that I was looking for. Um, but now, like I said before, it's just time for something different. Um, I haven't. I have a plan on what I want to do next. Um, we'll just see if that's what I'll do. But um, as you guys know, I just sold my Ferrado wheels. Um, again, I love the wheels. Nothing against the company. I sold them because I'm going down to 20s. Those was my. Uh, I had 22 inch wheels with those. I want to go something smaller. Um, now that I've got the outside of the car looking the way I want it to, I want to do something with performance. So, with that being stated. Um, I wanted to go smaller wheels um, I'm not gonna be street racing um, but I wanted to all just kind of come together so I'm going with 20s the company that gave me the uh, partial sponsorship is uh, ace alloy they hooked me up with the um, um, a sponsorship these wheels that they got coming out are just bananas they're ridiculous I can't wait to uh, reveal them um, hopefully they should be shipped out today Saturday hopefully they should be shipped out to uh, Monday um, and I should get those sometime hopefully next week. All right, so we here and look who's here with me That boy the black scat pack What's going on bro, what up, man? How you doing chilling? I see the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, man I had took a I had another one like this about that I got about five years ago. Those was a 1x. Uh-huh. My 
buddy that was in the military, he had wanted one, like when 30 had went down to New Orleans, but yeah. I've never seen one in that size. And since WWE shop just now, well, recently had got another stock of these. I just bought one in my size. I just mailed it off to him. Man, your stock wheels don't look as bad on the car now since you didn't, you know, to me, since you got the, um, you know, you, you know, since you did body stuff, with the new bumper and the, the bumpers on there. Like I said, these are the, to me, the ugliest wheels Dodge could have made. They are ugly though, but they don't look as bad now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they would look better if they were black, but. A lot better. The chrome played out. Jason, autofocus uh, in front of you in the Hellcat. We are gonna go grab some breakfast, brunch, lunch. Um, trying to get car guys on time is, is never is never easy. Um, so it's almost it's a little bit after 11 now, but we're gonna go grab something to eat and um, get you guys to take a look at some some of these vehicles. Maybe I get to take a take a ride in one of them. Um, so you can get a perspective from a V6 owner in a Hellcat or a Scat Pack. Um, I can also get a perspective and see the difference in it. So um, enjoy the ride. What's good? It's your boy DDOT Ford. I am here. I got the Go Mango, that V6. And as you can see, I got that Torre Hellcat with me. This is owned by my friend, the one I've been talking about, Jason. You can follow him. I'm going to put his link at the bottom. Auto focus on Instagram. Let's go ahead, Jason. Come on in. Come on in. What come is on up, in. What's good with you? Chilling. 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 So tell me about your Hellcat, man. Um, yeah, this is a 2015 uh, Charger Hellcat. Okay. Uh, I got it uh, back in February out of uh, Orlando, Florida. Yep. Previously, um, you might have uh, seen me with the with the uh, SRT 392. 392. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, this is the red line red. I had to correct you a little bit. No problem. No. Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's red line red uh, with the with the pearl coat on there. It's got a, a beautiful flake to the paint and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as mods, I've only really done um, simple stuff to it to make the Hellcat more of like uh, a Hellcat. Uh, under the hood, like I say, it's mostly stock. Um, I do plan on uh, upgrading the pulleys. Um, but the main thing I've done right now is just uh, the B. Woody um, intake, a short ram intake. Um, it's got a pre-filter on there, a huge filter. Uh, I love the paint job and the, the craftsmanship on the that it, on the work how it came out. Um, matches the car very, very well. Um, but the best thing about these intakes, I don't know if you want to go with this or, or leg maker. Either one of them are, are really excellent intakes. Uh, but the main thing about them is is the way they make the Hellcat sound. So let me let me rather than talk about it, let me just show you that real quick. Yeah, if you can, if I can hear it, that'd be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> get into the difference of being in the v6 from being in the hellcat obviously first things first that steering wheel 
Um, I know the Black Scat Pack, he did a video a few weeks ago of switching the steering wheel. I'm playing with the paddle shifters now. Um, there's a definite difference from what I got in mine to what's in the Hellcat. I love the grip in it. I love the stiff steering. I, I just love the feel so far. Um, but I'm parked, so let's get going. Again, like I said, I love the feel, I love the power. Um, you can definitely feel that 707 horsepower just going through. Um, but yeah, I love it. Shit, thanks my fuck around, make me give me a Hellcat now. Come on, bro. God Join damn. the dark side. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Join the dark side, sir. It's pretty manageable on bike. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's nothing crazy. But I will say this, like I said in my previous videos, definitely one of the loudest Loudcats I've seen. Um, it's actually the Hellcat. Hellcat. It's actually, <laughs> no, that's it is name. a Loudcat. That's a new name. It's a Loudcat. <laughs> this is the um, first Hellcat that I've been in. So, we're just going to nickname this and call this the Loudcat. Go get that SDI out there. Right. We're pushing an easy, slow 95. Um, yeah. what, uh, it what, doesn't feel like it, though. What mode do you have in it? Um, so, let's, let's, let's go through these settings here, sir. No, I don't want to update. All right, so you felt the default. Yeah. Power. You kind of have a sense of what that's uh -huh. like. All right, so we're going to go to sport right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know we said one exit. That's the rule. But, um. I, I think so, <laughs> and I think Dodge <laughs> definitely done broke the rules when they decided to build this and they decided to build a heat demon. And if they decided to build an angel, I don't, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. But what is the angel supposed to be? Is that like uh, a charger? Demon I, I, or I, it, I don't know. I mean, because I mean, I've seen, it's, yeah. I've seen the footage of like, I've seen the footage of like, or the the, the images of like just a, a base model. Uh, Challenger, or I, I can't say base model, just a Challenger uh, Hellcat with the demon hood. And I'm trying to see if it does it have like the demon internals or what. All right, so got to get up on it a little bit, took right. it for about two miles. Um, I'm gonna pull on this side of the road here so it'll be easy to get out. Um, I like it, it's powerful. I love the steering. Um, I just wish we had more open road. All right, we own it. All right, so this is your car. First thing I'm gonna do. Might as well show just me. Just throw us in track mode. Look at all that red. Red key. Red key. Red dashboard. Red car. Red eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Either one of y'all better not have no damn red eye driving this car. Mm -hmm. Not with me up in here. I notice it's uh it's a lot. Well, it's, it's quite a bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! All I see is just like cameras are going. <laughs> Like, like, 
most Saturday mornings, uh, I try to get out and um, and just drive. Yeah. So I'll uh, throw it in track mode then if I just want to play around mm -hmm. and have some fun. So I'm interested to see, you know, the difference between the red key and the black key. Um, so the black key gives you how many? How much horsepower? Five hundred. Black. Yeah. Black is five. Red, of course, seven oh seven. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it doesn't have to. You don't have to necessarily be. Right now, we're in custom, which is five hundred. Okay. I, Really, I mean, it yeah. feels it still pulls pretty strong. It has a nice pull. I didn't. My head didn't. It didn't jerk back like it did with the the seven plus. But um, yeah. Appreciate my boy Jason allowing me to drive his Hellcat today. Um, that was a fun experience. Sitting in the uh, Go Mango now, it's, uh, it's it's night and day difference. Um, obviously, you know you got this with about 300 horsepower, give or take. Um, and then you got that 700 to 7 horsepower. But um, it was a fun experience. It, it makes me wonder what 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 should I do? Should I trade this in, or um, should I do something else? Um, I think I'm gonna do something else, and that kind of goes towards that second sponsorship I told you I got. So we're gonna look out for that. Honestly, since I got my Challenger Scat, whenever the day comes, I plan on keeping it. Whenever the day comes, when I get a, decide to go get a Hellcat, I, I, I'm preferably looking at a Charger because uh, I already got the two-door coupe, you know, muscle car. Uh, to me... Charger gang. To me, <laughs> one love. See, we, we grow in the family, okay? Yeah, come on. We grow in the family. <laughs> we growing the family. That's what matters right there. But hey, the Charger, Challenger, hey, it's all it's, the same. It's, it's no bar, no car. So, but it is what it is. But I feel like I, I'll be a lot, a little bit older. So, a, a, a four door car that still gets up and go, and then you can dial it down to make it, you know, a respectable driving car to where it won't do good as. Well, I, I, tell you, I got tongue tied. What it won't do as bad on gas as like a manual would, can't really beat that, but it's all, like I said, it's all about what you want. What you think? How you like, how you like your, uh, your Hellcat? Now that you've had it for, you know, about a, six, a, little, a, little, a little while now. Best car I ever had, sir. I, I can tell. I can, I can agree with that. I mean, I've had a lot 
I've had a lot of uh, performance-based cars, uh, Evos, uh, uh, M3s, mm. ISF. Mm. Uh, M3s. Just a lot of a lot of performance-based cars. Uh, two two of them actually, E46 and E92. Mm. And um, those cars are all like great in their own right. But this is just it, the, the the rawness of this car is really what just makes it just just makes it so much better, so much fun to drive. I mean, even if you could just be like going to like a red box or something and then just kick it over into like track mode and then roll out your windows, listen to the supercharger, listen to the exhaust and then so just, just let it go, man. I mean, it's 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 just it's it's just fun. And then you can turn all that shit off if you want to. Right? Like just press <laughs> just leave it in default. Uh, and leave it in default, leave the transmission in auto, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make too much of a noise. It doesn't make too much of a noise. And we, and we noticed that, yeah. Everybody, like, who says, you know, the, the, these cars have split personalities. Like, like a Gemini. I think. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I want to thank my boy Jason here for allowing me to, uh, get that red key on that Hellcat. Yeah, um, he, he took the key away from me. My man. boy D. Frank for riding along with don't us. Don't be doing donuts in the street. Man. Don't do that. <laughs> don't try <laughs> the stunts we tried I in the, uh, the, in, in the open, in the road like really. that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I, I don't do donuts Let this man street. finish his outro. Oh, they about to fight. <laughs> so peep game. These bills right here are not for you. They're for us. We just bless you with them. Uh, my motto is, if the haters gonna hate, just make sure you give them something to hate on, all right? I'm going to put their pages on the description. Uh, make sure you follow Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to their YouTube page. And if you're not following me and subscribe, make sure you hit that button. Out.